Adalimumab, also known as Siltizo, CF, pen 40 mg per 0.8 ml subcutaneous kit, is used to reduce pain and swelling caused by certain types of arthritis. This medication can also help to treat certain skin disorders and certain bowel conditions. It works by blocking a protein found in the body's immune system that causes joint swelling and damage in arthritis, as well as red scaly patches in psoriasis. By reducing joint swelling, this medication helps to reduce further joint damage and preserve joint function. In addition to treating arthritis and skin disorders, adalimumab is also used to treat certain bowel conditions such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, as well as a certain eye disease called uveitis. The recommended dosage and timing for taking this medication should be discussed with your doctor. Before you start using Siltizo, CF, pen 40 mg per 0.8 ml subcutaneous kit inflammatory bowel agents, make sure to read the medication guide and instructions for use provided by your pharmacist. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist. If you are using this medication at home, learn all preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional and the product package. Before using, check the product visually for particles or discoloration. If either is present, do not use the liquid. If you are removing this medication from the refrigerator, leave it at room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes before injecting. Do not warm up this medication any other way such as by heating in the microwave or placing in hot water. Before injecting each dose, clean the injection site with rubbing alcohol. Change the injection site each time to lessen injury under the skin. New injections should be given at least 1 inch, 2.5 centimeter, from an old site. Do not inject into any areas of the skin that are sore, bruised, red, or hard. Use this medication exactly as prescribed. Inject this medication under the skin on the thigh or abdomen as directed by your doctor, usually every other week or once a week in some cases. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. In children, the dosage is also based on weight. If you are using this medication to treat psoriasis, hydratinitis suppurativa, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or uveitis, your doctor may prescribe a different schedule slash higher dose at the start of your treatment. Carefully follow your doctor's directions for using this medication. Use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. To help you remember, mark the day on the calendar when you need to receive this medication. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed. Tell your doctor if your condition lasts or gets worse. Some common side effects of Siltizo, CF. Pen 40 mg per 0.8 ml subcutaneous kit inflammatory bowel agents include redness, itching, pain, or swelling at the injection site. If any of these effects last or get worse, tell your doctor or pharmacist promptly. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. However, it's important to tell your doctor right away if you develop signs of infection while using this drug, such as, sore throat that doesn't go away, fever, chills, night sweats, and more. Additionally, be aware of serious side effects such as mental-slash-mood changes, severe headache, vision changes, and more. If you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, get medical help right away. And as always, if you notice any other effects not listed here, contact your doctor or pharmacist. This medication may lower your body's ability to fight off infections, which could lead to serious or even fatal infections. Make sure to inform your doctor about any past, recent, or current infections, as well as any history of living or traveling in areas where certain fungal infections are common. Your doctor will also test you for tuberculosis before and during treatment with this medication. It's important to be aware that there is a small risk of developing cancer, especially in children, teens, and young adults. Be sure to discuss the risks and benefits of treatment with your doctor, and notify them immediately if you experience symptoms such as unexplained fever, unusual lumps or growths, swollen glands, unexplained weight loss, or night sweats. Before using Siltizo, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to adalimumab or any other adalimumab products. Also, let them know about your medical history, especially if you have had recent infections, blood or bone marrow problems, seizures, certain brain or nerve disorders, cancer, 
heart disease, or lupus. Siltizo can increase your risk of getting infections or make current infections worse, so it's important to avoid contact with anyone who has a contagious infection. You should also inform your healthcare professional before getting any vaccinations and avoid contact with people who have recently received live vaccines. To lower the risk of getting cut, bruised, or injured, be cautious with sharp objects and avoid activities that may increase the risk of injury, such as contact sports. Before having any surgery, inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and herbal products you are using. For older adults, there may be a greater risk of infections and cancer while using Siltizo. If you are pregnant, Siltizo should only be used when clearly needed, so discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. This medication can also pass into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using Siltizo. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that may affect how Siltizo, CF, pen 40 mg per 0.8 ml subcutaneous kit works or increase the risk for serious side effects. This is not a comprehensive list of all possible drug interactions, so it's important to keep a record of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Siltizo, CF, pen 40 mg per 0.8 ml subcutaneous kit include other TNF blockers, such as etanercept, infliximab, and other drugs that weaken the immune system, such as abatacept, anakinra. Be sure to discuss any concerns or questions with your healthcare provider. If someone has taken too much Siltizo and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. It's important not to share Siltizo, CF, pen 40 mg per 0.8 ml subcutaneous kit with others. Your doctor may also recommend lab and or medical tests, such as a complete blood count or liver function tests, while you are using this medication. Be sure to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose, make sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist to figure out the best time to take your next dose. Do not take an extra dose to make up for the missed one. It is important to store Siltizo, CF, pen 40 mg per 0.8 ml subcutaneous kit in the refrigerator, but do not freeze it. Some brands may also be stored at room temperature, so it's best to check with your pharmacist or read the product package for specific instructions. Once the medication has been stored at room temperature, it should not be put back in the refrigerator. Keep the medication in the original container to protect it from light and discard any unused portion of the medication. It is also important to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to disposing of the medication, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard the product and it is expired or no longer needed. It is best to consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to dispose of the medication. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.